Greetings, Judah. DFG, Gideon's Flight. Hey, guys, I just want to take a few minutes and uh, share uh, some things that Yah has put upon my heart. Uh, and I'm grateful to Yah because, you know, he said my sheep hear my voice. At least that's what Yahushua. Okay, be careful when I say that. But we know Yah talked to his prophets. He talked to his messengers. He's talk, he speak to his watchmen. And when I say prophets, I'm not talking about the T.D. Jakes or the Carrie Ann's and all these other people out here. I'm not talking about them because you're not hearing from Elohim if your words don't line up with the book. And I, 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 let me say this too, and I say this with all integrity. You know, if any of you are out there listening to these prophets and prophetists, and they're sitting there telling you about what's going to happen in the future, but there's no book. So they got their own private interpretation. They're not getting it out of the scripture. They're not getting it out of the Torah. They're not getting it out of anybody. They're pulling it out of their ass and lie to you because it makes you feel some kind of way. I'm just being straight about it or listening to these people. Well, let me tell you something. Let me... <laughs> All right. Can I rephrase it? Because, again, my intention is only to offend what needs to be offended. Let me say to you, if you're listening to these people, that need you need to understand that you're following prophets of Baal. Prophets of Baal. Prophets of Astra. In other words, these people have created a God unto themselves. That's why they are hearing something totally different than what the prophets or the ancient ones heard. Because see, the ancient ones never came up with new anything. They came to remind the people. Go back and look, Jeremiah. Remind the people. Ezekiel, remind the people. Jeremiah, remind the people. Isaiah, remind the people. But you never hear any of them with a new message or a new doctrine or a new prophecy. As though Elohim, you know, is talking to them and them only, yet Elohim is using language that we never heard before because it's not verifiable in the book. And they'll tell you that doesn't matter. Well, the only messenger who talks about things that are, that's not written in the book is Satan. Satan's with an S. Devils. Doctrines of devils. Demons. So if you're letting yourself get pulled into that, just understand, although, you know, it sounds warm and it sounds comforting to you, that it sounds reassuring to you because, unfortunately, you're not hearing with your ruach, you're hearing with your fleshly mind. I mean, you got one of these sisters out there telling people that she believes that Carnival Cruise Line and these other Carnival ships are somehow going to be commandeered she don't tell us who's going to service these ships, who's going to pilot these ships, who's going to clean the rooms, who's going to cook the food, who's going to buy the food. None of that, but you're going to get on a ship and go across this planet, this flat earth, to Africa, and that's where you're going to live and survive. And I guess, according to her, I guess man are going to fall out the sky. Now, that might sound good. Sounds reasonable. Makes sense. Because I can, I know Carnival Cruise Line. I know it's a ship. So, of course, if I am hearing from myself, but I need subscribers, I need likes, and I damn sure need you to donate to my channel, speaking for them, then I got to make it sellable to you. That's no different than what T.D. Jakes and the rest of these guys are doing. Women thou art loose. Manpower. They create these messages that are not consistent with the book, but they know it's consistent with your fleshly desires. So they cater to your flesh. Because they know most men and women want to be validated. They don't want, most men and women don't want the truth. They don't want the truth. Because see, when you go to places like Ezekiel chapter 9, Right around verse 7. And it says that Elohim is going to kill the maidens. Kill them. 
kill the women and kill the children because of their high mindedness, because of their rebellion. See, they don't want to hear that. No, don't read that, DFG. I don't want to hear that. that. No, I don't agree with you. Well, I don't know why you're talking about agreeing with me, those of you who, who, who don't want to hear this truth. Because guess what? I didn't say it. I'm just repeating what was, what was written. I'm, in other words, I didn't write it. It's not my truth. It's Yah's truth. But again, you tell these same, and if it's one of you, how about you go read Ezekiel chapter 9? How about you tell me what it says in Ezekiel chapter 9 about women, married and unmarried. That's a maiden. A maiden is a woman who is not married. Quite frankly, it should be a woman that hadn't had sex with anybody. You're going to be looking. That's a needle in a haystack in this generation. But it talks about you and it talks about your children and what's going to happen to you. But you never consider why. But when your brother comes out and tell you why, then all of a sudden you get quiet. As I was saying, you're quiet as church mouth peeing on cotton. You have nothing to say. You have no comment. You have no commentary. You have no nothing. Why is that? Oh, because you don't agree with it. Because it does not fit with what? Your fleshly desire. And if it doesn't fit with your fleshly desire, then you don't have to acknowledge it. Or better yet, you just go turn to the celestials. To, you know, what is that? Celestial, whatever name is, trumpet voice or whoever it is. Or you go turn to some of these other witches, soothsayers or whatever they are, telling you that Yah is talking to them three and four times a day. And they know Yah's voice so well. Yet they're sitting in there in their damn living room something there with a curtain behind their head and you can hear the children running like wild animals above their heads. Fanning their asses off. Because I guess it will get heat if you're lying. It gets heat hot real fast. And they're going to get hotter for them devils. They're going to need more than a fan. But for you who are buying this stuff, all I'll say to you again, where is it in the scripture that says, Israelites are going to get on ships and go to Africa. You show me where that's at in the book. Like I told, you know, I believe, I like, I like I shared with someone. And I say this respectfully because, you know, I, I, I see integrity and in question and in asking the question. If you're asking a question because you really are concerned, then I can respect and appreciate that. Now, if you're asking the question being crafty, to be clever, to inject some foolishness into the truth, then, you know, you're going to have to deal with Yah with that. And Yah is listening and he's reading too. Amen? But if it's not in the book, why are you believing them? Why would you believe that Yah is talking to somebody, yet it's not Yah's words? It's their words. And if you notice, all of their prophecies are all general. They don't ever give you specifics. On tomorrow at 5 o'clock, you know, Yah says all the clocks in England are going to stop ticking. I mean, surely Yah can say something like that to prove himself. Right? When our brother Gideon, go read uh, Judges chapter 6. When Gideon wanted to be sure if it was Elohim talking to him, he said, okay, in the morning, let the rugs be wet when there was no rain. And then the next day, he said, let the rugs be dry when there is rain. So he asked for evidence, confirmation, affirmation. But these people are telling you that y'all can't give them affirmation. Well, you know, I don't know when, but I had a dream last night. And a lot of you, and I'll give you, I thank you that you're sincere. I think many of you who are listening to these prophets and prophetess, I think that there's a certain level of sincerity in your heart. I'm not going to accuse you of, 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 of intentionally falling after Baal. In other words, idol, idolaters, witches, and soothsayers. But in your sincerity, what you haven't considered is that you're following doctrines of devil. So you're sincere, but you're sincerely 
incorrect. You're, 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 you're sincerely wrong. And that can happen. What did Solomon say? There's a way that seemed right to a woman. But the end is death to that same woman. That woman thought she was right, but she was absolutely wrong. And the only way for that woman to know our man is that you need precepts. They are, we are instructed to go to the book to verify anything Yah's man or Yah woman says so that we know it's Yah and not, you know, Satan in disguise. Disguising himself or themselves to be prophets or watchmen or messengers of Elohim. And most of these people, they'll read to you, but they'll never give you precepts. In other words, other places where they're getting their affirmation or they are confirming through the word, through the book, on what is being said to them. And I will tell you, they don't do it because it's their flesh that's talking. Again, if you guys think that these people are not using many of you for money, you better think again. Because go back and listen to them now with open ears and see if they don't mention thank you for your donations. Thank you for supporting the channel. So those are cold words. You say, well, I support the channel by watching it. That's not what they mean. Well, I don't give them anything. Maybe you don't, but go look and see how many people who are giving them stuff. Because they really think that these people are messages from Yah, messengers of Yah. And like Yah said, you got to pay me to give you the truth. That sounds like y'all to you. I thought the truth, I thought the word of y'all was free. I thought the word of y'all came with no cost. It comes with consequence. But I don't remember you know, the messages of Yah Elohim saying, okay, I'm done now. Come on, show me the loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Come on, pay up. Super chat time. I need a super chat. I need a super sticker. I'm going to tell you something. In these times of trouble, <laughs> I would never sit here and tell you that if Yah bless you financially, you should walk away from it. That's not what I'm saying. If Yah has a blessing for me and he put it in your heart to give it to me, that's one thing. But let that blessing have nothing to do with because I gave you the word. The word is free. The word is free. But if you have a heart to support and give, that's something that you're doing because of your own free will, not because I gave you a good word today. Oh, pastor, boy, pastor, we're preaching good today. Let me give him a little bonus with my tithes. So that's wickedness. That's all flesh. That's all flesh. And a lot of these people are saying things to many of our people. For filthy lucre. In other words, for money. For corrupted dollars. And they will tell you anything, but what they're not going to do is offend you. You know, I'll take the Celeste And if you guys don't know the channel, I'm not going to direct you to the channel because she's a witch. All right? But her name is Celeste And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But she's been on this rampage about homosexuality. A rampage. Men getting screwed in the butt. I mean, she is on it, on it, on it. But as I listen to this woman, first, I don't see no man nowhere. So obviously to me, there's no covering there. But in addition to that, okay, let's, let's set that aside. I realize that every sister is not every sister's fault because she doesn't have a covering. I understand that. That don't mean you shouldn't be looking for one. But I get it. But this woman talks about homosexuals, men screwing each other in the behind. But she never talks about lesbians eating out each other's vagina. I wonder why. Why is she so careful when she says lesbian? She talks in general. But when she talks about homosexuality, or in other words, the man issue, man with man, she gets into the nasty, filthy details. And I'm telling you, that's not coincidental. That's a lesbian spirit in that woman. Same thing with Carrie Ann. Those are lesbian spirits in these women. That's why they think they can preach. That's why they're so bold in saying what they can say. 
That's why they can lie on Yahuwah with all their little fancy names. See me, I'm smart. I know the way to say it the right way. I must be smart. After all, y'all talk to me five times a day. Yet they're sitting there talking about Beyonce and they're sitting over there talking about all kind of foolish silliness, the queen, all kind of shit, Jamaica Day. Like y'all really gives a damn about what goes on with man and his ceremonies other than identifying the wickedness that's, that, that's there or the occultivism, prophets of Baal, prophets of Asherah. And they're doing and how they're deceiving Yah's people. If you let these women and some of these men too, if you let them tell it, you know, there's no such thing as Satan other than Satan, you know, whom they disagree with. But if Satan gives them a license to preach, yet the book doesn't give them the authority, then, you know, they don't have a problem. In other words, I'm, Satan and them are good. They're good with Satan then. They're good then. You know, when they're coming up with Lucifer, in other words, Jesus' salvation, they're good with that too. They're good with Jesus' salvation. But what they won't acknowledge is that the queen that they were talking about, you know, the wicked witch of the east or west, depending on where you live on this flat earth, now they'll put, they'll talk and say that she's a devil, and she is. But they won't talk about the God she believed in. Because out of their own mouth, out of their priests and their bishops, all of them said Queen Elizabeth believed in Jesus and Jesus' resurrection. And y'all don't see anything wrong with that. But y'all say, well, it ain't the same Jesus, though. We don't believe in that Jesus. Wait a minute. So you believe in the Jesus that died and was resurrected. She believes in the Jesus that died and was resurrected. You call him Yahushua. Some of you still call him Jesus. So both of y'all believe in the same process of this Jesus. But y'all talking about two different gods. Help me understand. Because see, to me, that's the equivalent that I bought my Mercedes from, I don't know, Mercedes, you know, Detroit. And you bought your Mercedes from Mercedes, I don't know, Boston. And therefore, they're two different Mercedes, although they're the same class, same year, same everything. But you're convincing yourself somehow or another because one was bought in Boston and one was bought in Detroit. It's not the same Mercedes. 